Back here at Triangle for the deciding game of the Handicap Division Pack Northwest Invitational. Tyler's going to win, but will it be Coates or Delorme? This is Coates shooting in the fifth frame and catching a double. He's clean with that double through five. He's got to make up a 42-pin handicap difference against Delorme, and he has just about done that already through five frames. This would be a heck of a comeback if he pulls it off. Tyler uh, Delorme was undefeated through the first seven or eight rounds. Coates had to end up beating Delorme twice. He won the first game fairly easily, and he is in control here in the second game. Put the hammer down early here. Well, he did it with some fortune at Brooklyn's the last game. That time he doesn't get the ball to quite cross over the lane on this very tricky Tokyo pattern. Interesting little 3-6-10 to shoot at. No gimmies here. That will get on the other side. He'll take it anywhere they fall. An exciting day of action. There's already Jake Mullen has captured Scratch. Reagan Laurie has captured Handicap. U17 will eventually be decided by state law. Fatigue definitely a factor at this point too. This is games 15 or 16 for these guys. Plus practice, plus a full length event yesterday. And it, it takes stamina as much as skill to win one of these tournaments. And right now the wheels are falling off for Delorme. 58 through five and a split here in the sixth. He's getting ugly fast. Let's see if he can energize the crowd with a big pickup here, the uh, 6 8 10. Not to be able to pull up ten gutter. That body language reads dead tired to me. These guys at school tomorrow. He said 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Oh, 8:30, but I have to wake up at like 7. Lovely. I have senior color fit at 9 in the morning, so uh, I'm I'm with you. But you guys did a lot more bowling. There you go. I tell you, that senior color pin's no picnic. Let me get that on camera. Why'd you grease the lane so bad, Jeff? Oh my God, this is what I want to hear it Monday morning. There's a shot by Delorme. That's what he's been doing most of the day. That's what got him that 7-0 run through the start of match play. He might have to do some more, but Coach just wants to put the hammer down here. Don't give him any opportunity to come back. Oh, and instead, that is not a hammer. Now this tournament was rolling right along, and we've kind of ground to a halt here the last couple games. We might as well just tie at this point. <laughs> Two out gives him 131 through 7. 85 plus another 42 of handicap is uh, 127. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got a match. Tyler, a much higher average, so he's much more likely to fill the frames here, coach, I mean. But what does he do in the eighth? Oh, boy. And turns that big four into a strike. My goodness. That could have been six through ten, and he got ten out of it. Well, let's see if Delorme can answer here with the most momentum he's had going in the last half hour. Either way, Coates is going to be rewarded with another game of bowling. That's a pretty good ball. Oh. That's got to be a pretty light ball he's throwing because that ball deflected a ton to leave a pocket 5-9 there. What weight is he throwing? 15. 15? What, what, well, then why did that deflect so much? Because he's tired. Ah, good answer. There you go. All right. There you go. Uh, where's the U6? We gotta keep it right here because they gotta spoil for league. Oh. Uh-oh. I think he's just plumb exhausted, guys. I don't think there's... But you... Fine. So you are plumb exhausted. Find a way to dig out just your last, you know, your negative reserves, your reserve reserve. You got two frames left in your tournament for $1,000. Empty the fumes. 
Thank you for this me is to too say. much for a U17 match. <laughs> what on earth? There's a good ball. All right, gets the trip six there. He says he needed that. He's absolutely right. He needed to make that spare in the eighth is what he really needed. Well, Coates' fate is in his own hands here. Ah, oh, brilliant shot in the ninth. Well, nine spare here is 200, which would force 158 out of DeLorme, which he can't do. And getting three in the tenth seems like a tall task for DeLorme right now. So Coates, I think, just fills the frame and wins the tournament. Boy, almost the identical hit the last time he's on that lane. He still breaks up the split. Let's give him eight out here. 187. And that would force the one to double. Someone said, oh no, back there. A certain someone didn't yeah. like that spare ball, Get but. <laughs> I haven't been consistent with those. No, corner spin spares have been a little bit shaky, but uh, good enough here. 153 plus 42, 195 is the best the warm can do, so seven pins here wins it all. I think that's going to be seven. Nine is enough, and Tyler Coates is going to take down the Invitational. Point leader coming in, roars to the top seed in qualifying, and somehow stops DeLorme's outstanding run to win it all. You know, as a director, you try and put a, a positive spin on, on tough results, and that's a heartbreaker for DeLorme because he uh, started off so hot. But, as his dad pointed out to me, it completes the collection. He now has a first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And that's a excellent. And to get that in your very first season is excellent. Five top fives in a rookie season. Tough one to finish out there. Six top fives in a rookie year. Well, I knew it. Tyler won. Was that one about three games ago? Okay, no, not the one.